Guys, stop all the comments. Stop it. No, no, oh, they're everywhere. There's no tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. I have to do this for myself. They're calling me Manny Fatty Owl. They're calling me Matt. Oh Lord, what do I do? What do I do? Every single day, I get reminded about how obese I am, how fat I am. It's just exhausting. You motherfuckers. Alright man, welcome to the start of the weight loss journey. I wanted to make this a big episode, something so grandiose, but no. I decided to show you the reality of how I live. Like people try to put on these montages, people try to put on dramatic music. Nah, the weight loss journey is not like that. It's long, hard, painful silence. I'm nobody giving a shit about you until you get fit when you're not fit when you're not looking good when you're not wearing the right stuff People don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about your feelings They don't give a damn about what you're trying to do in life because once they see your body They automatically assume that you're lazy. They automatically assume. Oh, he's up to nothing I went to a Thai restaurant, right? And I was eating food after they brought out the entrees the waiter asked is that enough for you? No, it wasn't, but still, people are saying, oh, times have changed, you know? We encourage body positivity, we encourage that. No, there will always be a form of fat shaming. When people see how celebrities be getting fat and gaining weight, I mean, they're a little bit nicer, but you know, at the same time, there's always a lot of criticism. For example, Selena Gomez. I mean, she's getting older, you know, when you get older, you fill out your frame more, and at the same time, she's had a pretty bad disease, lupus, a bit chunky, but she's still hot, she's Selena Gomez, and she's still got the yitties, she's Selena Gomez, you know what I'm saying, I can say all this stuff about weight because I'm going through the same thing she's going through, it's not me looking down, it's not me punching up, it's just facts, a little bit chunky, a little bit chunky, kind of like me. Selena Gomez is here, she was on Barney way back in the day. People be saying this is the rudest comment section ever. Y'all not right for this, come on. Nowadays, like, the way people call each other fat is in the comment section, you know, they don't directly allude to it. They don't say the, the, the F word. They make excuses for why the person has gained weight. Or they say, why are so many people saying this stuff? when no one really says it. The top comment explains she has lupus. And she looks beautiful, happy, and is glowing. People commenting negative things is really shameful. People are holding back, they're saying, I'm not even gonna say nothing. She had lupus. Some of the meds can cause weight gain, especially in the face. Don't these comments just indicate that pure self-loathing and unkindness? I haven't seen one bad comment, but I've seen a thousand comments saying how bad all the people commenting are. But when it comes to me, I could go to my YouTube studio Go to the comments. I can read every single damn comment on here, bro. I'm being called fat in 50 different ways each day. What's next? Somebody's gonna make fat comments in Chinese? I don't really get emotional when it comes to fat comments. I just accept it for what it is, and I know that when I get skinny, it'll go away someday. It will go away. Sometimes it do be getting to me because putting my weight loss journey out there, people always want to see something personal from a content creator, and apparently this is my version of it. You know, they always have to sell their soul in some way, and me being fat as fuck on camera is the way that I have to do it. it is a way that I have to get views because obviously people are interested in the weight loss journey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out. Here's my gym setup. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This is setup, chat. This is setup. Welcome to the gym room. You know what I'm saying? I can show something, and I'll always get a comment for it. I posted a story here, and somebody said, use the bike. Really? Oh, don't mind that. Don't, don't, don't mind the, don't, don't, don't mind the brownies. <laughs> and I got my super duper speaker right here. Oop. Not sponsored. If you've been watching for a few years now, this is the one that I'd bring to the parties back in the day. Cause these nerdy college kids were bumping indie music at parties and I had to blast some hip hop. These weights are just decoration because I'm onto the heavy metal, baby. So the thing is, I have a gym membership, but I haven't used it in a few months. Obviously, that's because the place is too crowded. It's the only gym within a five mile radius. So everybody in the area goes to that little gym and it's packed as hell. I can't film in there. Or is that just an excuse for not going? <laughs> Yesterday, I did chest and triceps. You will see that, you know, 
it'll be popping out pretty soon because it already does. And then my bicep, no matter how, which way you turn it, it's just super muscular. As you can see, my traps are developed. A lot of people don't have these. So what we'll be doing today is a back and biceps workout. Yeah, woo, woo. What are you feeling, chat? What music are you feeling, chat? Are y'all feeling some Ice Spice? Are we feeling some Uzi? You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling some Kamaya. First set only, that's all I'm showing. I'm tired of being animated on camera. Fuck this shit, you made me do this. Guys, I got a boo-boo. Kiss it better, kiss it better, please. Standing dumbbell rows. <laughs> bro, this lyric really resonated with me, bro. Listen to this. Since I gained a couple pounds, I can chase a bitch. You know how it is for us overweight people. Hey, this one for the baddies out there, you feel me? This how I'm going down. We're moving on to the dumbbell curls. We're saving the deadlift for last. This is for all you motherfuckers hating on Chris motherfucking Breezy. The GOAT, the next thing to Michael Jackson. Chris fucking Breezy. Uh, and you hop in. I look fly in the jacket. Filming the workout takes 200% of the effort I would put into a normal workout. I have to move the camera. I have to get different angles so it's not boring. Oh yeah, let me get a different angle for curling weights. Let's just not film my workouts. Oh, you're taller than me. Stop looking down at me. Oh no, guys, I'm running out of battery. Quick. Disclaimer when it comes to deadlifts, I don't lift heavy deadlifts because it's dumb. It just messes up your back when you're older and I already have back pain from trying to lift heavy weight when I was skinny. This deadlift is gonna be just with dumbbells. Hopefully I can lift heavier later, but this is my starting point. I'm so tired from trying to make the workout exciting. This is not how a normal day goes. It's morbid time. Valkyrie's titties. Ooh, Jody's smile. Tina's waist. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Leslie's personality. Oh. What else? Pokey's yams. Oh. Kidding, guys. Kidding. But yeah, guys, it was a damn workout. I'm sweating, so you know I actually exercised and I didn't just do the first set. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm gonna take a shower, but you cannot come with me. Guys, this is how Salt Poppy be wearing his boxing gear. I think it's because he got loose fat drooping down. I just wanted to say this, like, if you're fat, don't be ashamed of your body. Like, people can see it under your clothes already, so just, just own it. Because if you know you're doing something to change it, if you're losing weight, if you're eating healthy, sure, you might look like Jabba the Hutt right now, but in a few months you won't. And people will notice that. Right now, when you're not looking your best, all you have is your confidence. If I was like, guys, guys, stop all the comments. Stop it. No, no, oh, they're everywhere. It's, gonna, it's just gonna cause them to bully me more. Like I'm being cyber bullied every day already, but like, you know, it would have been a lot more if I did that. And if you're in an Asian family, bro, like, even if you're a normal weight, they're calling you fat. So, like, it does, you can't win with that. Yeah, guys, this is the first episode of Fatty. It was just one workout, but that's all it takes to start, man. That's all you gotta, you just gotta start, bro. Next week, we'll document more of my diet, my daily routine, and things I do to keep myself from eating too much. Because, uh, that's been my main problem.
I told you in the beginning, I didn't want to do this. And this is just routine, bro. This is what it takes to lose weight. It's not a whole motivational journey. You just have to do it. You know, it's like a computer. Like when you're coding, you follow the commands. I have to follow the commands. No, you just execute, you press the button and then you move. So that anybody struggling to start, you don't even have to think about it. It's pointless to think about it because no one cares about what you're doing. We're all gonna die anyway, and you might not live till tomorrow. So just do what the fuck you want. <laughs> Let's go. See you guys in the next video. Peace.